Let's get to some other headlines we're following for you tonight. So in Atlanta, a local family is calling the city to do more to fight against gun violence. So this comes in the wake of a deadly triple shooting this weekend right near West End Mall. This is 20 year old Jacoby Maddox. He's one of three victims shot and killed Saturday near the mall. Today, his grandmother spoke in front of city council calling for help. And all this crime in the West End area in other areas, and this just has to stop. Oh, Mrs. Smith, he was a good boy. He don't deserve this. Tonight, authorities have identified the other two victims as 17-year-old Darian Johnson and 38-year-old Jarvis Scott. According to APD, one of the three men approached the other two and started shooting. Then one of them returned fire. There's no word tonight on which man shot first or their motive. Right now, students at the Art Institute of Atlanta are scrambling for their next move after the school just announced it will permanently close its doors September 30th. In an email from the school, officials blamed the closure on a culmination of events over the past decade, most notably the pandemic. The school says it didn't have time to make any agreement with other colleges and universities for students to continue their degrees, but says staff is working to find appropriate transfer opportunities through its accrediting agency and the state. Happening tomorrow, Vice President Kamala Harris will be in Atlanta. She's expected to meet with students from Spelman, Morehouse, and Clark Atlanta University for a moderated conversation. The White House says topics will range from reproductive and voting rights to gun safety and book bans.